95.5 WFMS. Good morning. It's Jim, Deb, and Kevin. A Friday. Wait a minute. I can never find my bell here. My bell. You know what? Time to flip the calendar, too. You act too. like someone takes it. It's in the same place every day. Well, yeah, I think I'm the one that put it in the wrong spot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah flip our calendar. <laughs> September 1st. Yep. There it is. September morning. I'm ready. You oh, ready, is this when you're sad? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Actually, your, your favorite three months are? Well, it's uh, May, June, July. Oh, I thought they were June, July, August. No, August is because it's fading into. Well, then why are you oh. sad? You're already out of your favorite months. I don't know. I want them again. <laughs> <laughs> is that bad? Bye, <laughs> maintenance. Hey, uh, yeah. Taylor Swift shortlist. There you go. You're on it. That's what we should mm-hmm. talk about. Listen right. for your name, 740 this morning, mm-hmm. all right? And if we call your name out, if you're on that shortlist, yeah. you're going to go see Taylor Swift. There you go. Now, what about the people who are like, well, I'm not on the shortlist? Well, you're going to enjoy listening to them. We have lots of great music for you. <laughs> right. <laughs> We've got the 57 degrees now in clear skies at 95.5 WFMS. 95.5 WFMS. Good morning. It's Jim, Deb, and Kevin. Appreciate you joining us here. And Deb, you got big plans yeah. there. You're going to be able to relax a little bit. Oh, I'm going to relax. Why? Well, you need to. You, you should. Yeah, you really Special should. day for you. I don't know if you saw this or no. not. It is a National Lazy Moms Day. Oh. Moms everywhere should... Yeah. Be lazy today and not apologize for it. So it's 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 saying you can be lazy, not it's celebrating the moms who are lazy. No. No, it's National Lazy Moms Day. It says moms should relax all day long, and then it said act like a dad. Oh, <laughs> I didn't think that was funny. I didn't either. I, I kind of love that part. That was, that was not funny. So yeah. just do nothing. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, lazy. And, and well, I mean, no you, guilt. you have to work today, but yeah. you just... We Sit back, home. relax. We can get you coffee if you need be, or just just relax. Lazy I think moms. I, I think I could maybe draw a bubble bath or something when I get right. home. That's mm-hmm. lazy. Now, can yeah. you relax? Are you okay? Some people can't. Oh, I can. Uh, you okay with that? Okay. I can sit and watch court TV for six hours. Right, right. A little bit. Uh, yeah, binge TV. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you can't, Kevin. No, right? I'm a little... <laughs> this may surprise you, Jimmy. <clears throat> I'm a little uptight, <laughs> uh, and uh, so it's hard for me to relax. It well, really are is. Are you one of those people that just always has to be doing something? Mm-hmm. And you fi- you fidget a lot. Yeah, and bugging other people is what I enjoy That's doing. That's your specialty. Yeah. You can't lay by the pool. No. <clears throat> or the beach. No. no. And Kevin, have you noticed, even sitting in here, uh, especially if like an artist calls in and we How have How did an we turn this on to me? Well, it's, because, because you, you are uptight. <laughs> you will sit and doodle. Actually, Kevin's quite the cartoonist. He's pretty right. good. Yeah. Um, yeah. But you'll sit and doodle or you always have like a... Like a, a I, toothpick I, in your mouth. This may surprise you as well. First of all, I just told you I was uptight. But second of all, I did get in trouble a lot in school for talking Shocking. too much. I know that. But why are we focusing yeah, on me? So it's on Deb. Point it's is, a yeah, National Lazy Moms Day. Moms are supposed to sit back, relax, and take it easy today. It's your day to be lazy. Yep. You know, usually I don't love these days, but I like that one. I like the way that sounds. Or act like a dad. The Country Station 95.5 WFMS with Brooks and Dunn. You're listening to Jim, Deb, and Kevin. We mentioned earlier this is Lazy uh, Moms Day. Yes. Be a national lazy mom. Be a lazy relax, mom. Is what relax saying. today. Uh, but we all should relax. Um, we should follow the 42% rule. Have I've you heard, heard about this? 42% no. Rule. Uh, that's where we should, 42% of our time should be spent resting and relaxating and sleeping. Relaxating. Re- relaxating. Com- <laughs> yeah, it comes to 10 hours a day. Ten hours a day. Ten hours a day should be spent. Not sleeping. Relaxing. Or is it um, sleeping? Resting. Resting, okay. Or sleeping. Any of those things. All right. All right. 42% uh, of our time. 42%. And that's called the 42% rule. And it, it's for your mental health and for your physical health. Physical health. He said that we, we are... We are overworked, overstressed. Mm-hmm. The, the list went on and on of what's wrong with us. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that we don't get enough rest or relaxation. Now, we've got a holiday weekend coming up. Mm-hmm. we got a three-day weekend. Right. You should carve out... This sounds like it would be hard to do. And not hard to do, but it is hard to do. Find some time for just yourself just to relax. Maybe you're going to have a cookout, and that's great. And then you got to get the yard ready and get the fire ready Hell and do yeah. all that. There's all that stress. But just take some time and relax. But 10 hours a day is what you need to have. Uh, we're not doing that, clearly. I mean, I mean I'm oh, always no. doing something on the go. I'm doing something in the line at the grocery store right. or if I'm not scanning my that's own groceries. That's why we're all stressed out. I had to write a letter yesterday to Hayden. Parents write letters to the students as a surprise. Yeah. And they're delivered throughout the semester. And, I, and yesterday was a deadline. I'm writing it in the parking garage of, at the mall. You know, <laughs> but I got it done. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I need to take more time to do that. Take so time, yeah. 42%. Yeah. 42% for, rule. For, yeah. 42% of your time or 10 hours a day mm-hmm. should be mm-hmm. spent relaxing. I'm going to do that now. I, I've already started. <laughs> Yeah, I think if they follow uh, us around, they're going to. You yeah. guys could count it. You're you're nailing that forty two percent, guys. You, you might could probably be a work a little more. That. No, not true. <laughs> want to pick it up a little bit, huh? Hey, five five WFMS with Jim, Deb, and Kevin. Deb's got your daily dirt, and stars are throwing things back at the fans. Yeah, uh-huh. and then you got to be careful where where you're aiming. We'll uh-huh. share the story here in about thirty seconds. First, I love this. Dolly Parton has joined Pinterest. 
Oh, no. Yep, she really? said she is humbled to hear that so many people on Pinterest have been loving all things Dolly Core. That's what they call it, Dolly oh, Core. Okay. Okay. Uh, so like the core, but Dolly Core. Dolly yeah, so she's, get it. she's on Pinterest now if you want to check her out. <laughs> uh, it was last year when Luke Bryan started selling popcorn through his label, Boldly Grown Goods. And this year, he's added to it, he's added peanuts in three delicious flavors. And the slogan is handpicked by Luke, which my guess is not true. He didn't have time to go handpick well, that stuff. Well, I would stuff. think he's out there. No, though. he's not picking those. What, is something else that, that, that no. Handpicked by Luke. Makes it sound like he's out there every single yeah yeah, yeah. out there in the peanut field yeah I don't yeah, think so. I, I mean maybe so. he meant maybe it meant handpicked by Luke the flavors right you know okay man, that's uh, it, okay yeah. that okay. makes sense his quality yeah because he's not out there picking that. he didn't have time he, he's too busy right uh, so Fifty Cent was on stage recently and he threw his microphone during a show in Los Angeles uh, and it hit a local radio host uh oh really sent her to the hospital hit her in the head. Whoa. Uh, she has filed a police report. She's got report. free tickets for life. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> uh, she filed a police report. 50's lawyer says it was an accident. He didn't mean... He, well, I'm he, sure it he, was. He says he wasn't throwing it back at somebody specifically. But still, I mean, those things... Yeah, they're pretty heavy. They cause a concussion. Yeah. 641. Yeah. yeah. 641, that's Deb's Daily Dirt, sponsored by Mark Deedle Realty. 95.5 WFMS. Jim, Deb, and Kevin. It's a Friday. Oh. First Friday in September. Yes. Time to sing the Friday song, sponsored by Academy Sports and Outdoors. You ready to go? I'm ready. It's Friday, it's Friday, Friday, Friday. It's Friday, yes, it's true. It's Friday, Friday, Friday. It's Friday for me and you. Well, Kevin parked his truck underneath a big oak tree. Well, he didn't see that flock of birds. There's bird dudes all over the place, as you can see. Yeah, they uh-huh. found my truck. That's for yeah. sure. It's Friday, 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 Friday. It's Friday, yes, it's true. It's Friday, Friday, Friday. It's Friday for me and you. Well, Deb caught a cold this week, and it left her quite forlorn. The doctor told her what to do. He said, take three pumpkin spice drinks and call me in the morn. (laughs) It's Friday, Friday, Friday. It's Friday, yes, it's true. It's Friday, Friday, Friday. It's Friday for me and you. Well, I threw out my back this week, and all I did was lean. I have a prime example of... Finally fit machine. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. It's Friday, Friday, Friday. It's Friday, yes, it's true. It's Friday, Friday, Friday. It's Friday for me and you. First Friday in September. 95.5 WFMS is if uh, Friday's not good enough. You're right. We're going to add to it with some humor with <laughs> Kevin's bad joke worth repeating. At age 65, my grandmother started walking 10 miles a day. Wow. wow. She's 92 now, and we have no idea where she is. <laughs> no. No. That's Could not be gonna... in, I don't know. Might be in Montana by <laughs> ten, now. Ten I, that's not going to work, Kevin. Well, that's 10 miles at a time. Maybe yeah. Canada. Maybe she went south of Florida. <laughs> I don't Do know. Do over. I want another one. <laughs> oh, boy. The country station, 95.5 WFMS. That is Kane Brown, his wife, Caitlin. And I think I could, you know, if she's never available, I could probably fill in yeah. when she does keep, that. Keep yeah, I heard that. that. Yeah, keep, keep thinking that. Part? Okay, thank yeah. God. At 95.5 WFMS with Jim, Deb, and Kevin. I, I don't want to get personal, Deb, but um, I don't think Deb covers any gray hair. She has no gray hair. Uh, I don't think. That's don't, what I'm going to go You don't with. see me running to respond, do you? <laughs> well, Gwyneth Paltrow <laughs> went on social media yesterday and asked... Her fans, if she should let her gray roots grow out, mm-hmm. go gray. Right. Yeah. And 42% said yes. 42? Yeah. That's a that is becoming the new trend. It is a new trend. And, you know, I don't fault anyone that wants to do it. I have friends that have done it. They look lovely. It will not be happening for me. Really? I have I have dark blonde hair. I do get highlights. But now when I go and get those highlights... My stylist refers to the the grays that are starting to pop through as sparkles, and, uh, <laughs> oh, nice and she's like, "You just want to cover up your sparkles," yeah. and I'm like, "Yep, that's that's fine." And I'm telling you, I'll be 95 years old covering up my sparkles. Now, my okay. sister in law recently did this, mm-hmm. and she's let her she's let her gray grow out. Mm-hmm. She's gray and is beautiful. It looks fantastic. Sure, I think you know. I um, think uh, supermodel Paulina. I, I always say her name wrong, but it's like P- Poriskova. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, she used okay. to be married to the uh, 
lead singer of the Cars, I, I think. Am I getting that yeah, right? Okay. Anyways, she has gone gray, and uh, she's embracing the aging process, which I actually have zero problems getting older. I think when you get older, you're wiser, and I do love that. And so I, I don't mind that at all. But for whatever reason, I just don't – I can't imagine me looking the greatest with gray. So – I'm already a fair person, so I just I, I'm just going to cover it up. Jim, you have some gray hair. Obviously, I, yeah, it doesn't little, bother you. Well, just, but I don't know. For some reason, it's not right. But I think men can get away with it a little bit. I think I, I men do think look that is great true. With gray hair, adds character. A little frost or something there. Yeah, yeah I, I, I do think that's true. But, but more and more women are doing it, yeah. and specifically celebrities. Yeah. Mm-hmm. People I in think Hollywood. You do, I, I, and I'm going to limit here. I, I think it's very attractive, but I think it does make you look older. You know, it's it's just going to naturally do that. I think. Well, I mean, you think if there are people who are naturally they and turn gray early at a at a young oh, age, yeah. Uh, yeah. and and mm-hmm. they didn't make them look older. I don't think. I don't know. I I like the look. I think the natural look is good. I think uh, I'm going to get on a soapbox here for a moment. Sure. I think they wear too much makeup too. I think that natural look is better. Natural, who's yeah. they? So just in general, people in general, in general, yeah, people. T- Women tend to wear well, too I much think makeup that sometimes. Women listening right so, now are probably loving that you're saying that. So it's let your hair go hear. natural, and you know, yeah. I think but, I do think that I'm probably too your own your your own worst critic is that the phrase I'm probably too hard on myself because I do see other women who have gone gray and they do look lovely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But my sisters and I were talking about this the other day. We're like, never ever if you see a gray, pluck it <laughs> or shoot me. Get rid of the sparklies. Yeah. <laughs> no spark- By the way, it costs more to have the sparkles covered up than the uh, gray hair. That's why she calls it sparkles. Oh, I see. Yeah. No, I cover I next to thirty dollars more. For that. I, no, it's because I'm in denial. No, oh, okay, well, that could be true. Good. Eight oh nine with Jim, Deb, and Kevin. So a friend of uh, a friend of the family was, um, we were out to dinner with a couple of other couples the other night. We got to talking. We have a group thread that we all share and communicate in. And and they were talking about Bigfoot. The gentlemen of the couples all like Bigfoot, including Greg. And the, I, wait a minute, the monster Bigfoot? Yeah, the, the myth, the mythical. Oh, the myth. you know, oh, okay. and, and we're yeah. like, we don't quite get it. The ladies are, we, we're not on board. So mm-hmm. it's kind of a longstanding <laughs> joke. Like our husbands are crazy. Uh-huh. And they all watch it. They watch documentaries about it. If you look at our history on really? TV, that's all they, they talk about. So they were talking about it that night. We get home and um, I had said something like, I would rather watch paint dry than watch a documentary about Bigfoot. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> a little bit later, a couple of nights later, Tom, one of the husbands, messaged in the group thread and said, "Hey, Deb, new documentary on tonight. Better grab, uh, better grab your show corn and get ready." Your what? My show corn. Show corn. And I have never heard someone call it that. And of course, just a few seconds later, uh, his wife messaged and said, "By the way, show corn is AKA popcorn." I had, oh. to, had to fill oh, everyone sure. in on his really? lingo. I've never heard someone I like call that. popcorn show corn. Because you eat it in front of the television set watching show. a show. Watching a show or going to a show movie. Corn. Does that yeah. make sense to you? Yeah, it's kind of hip. I like it. Okay, come yeah. on. <laughs> I would never I would never tell Tom he's hip. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> so show I thought corn. that was interesting. But everybody show has corn. their own way of saying something. For example, Jim, I'm going to spotlight you for a second. But when you go to say like that, you'll say... Um, well, you know, like that. You say, like at. You drop the first two letters of the whole word. Well, that's just not saying the word right. That's not creating a whole new word like show corn. Well, that's also not Pop- saying the word popcorn. right. It's got a word. It's popcorn. <laughs> popcorn. popcorn, yeah. Well, something like that. Yeah. See, right, I, that, it? and it drives me nuts. <laughs> I know, that's why I do you, it. Because you create, you drop two letters, you create a whole new word. Well, you don't want to be like, something like that. Yes, you would. You're in radio. You should enunciate. <laughs> something like that. Show no. corn. So you say it real clearly. No, popcorn. Yeah, I like the idea. Mm-hmm. You going to mm-hmm. adopt this new phrase? I am. I do okay. kind of like it because it says right there, it says, I'm watching a show and I'm, I'm having popcorn. I just showed it to show corn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No. no. In fact, Tom, <laughs> no, no, no. Tom just texts me and he's probably... Uh, your biggest fan. Uh, hip. Yeah. Hip. Yeah, there you yeah. go. He's now Tom hip. Tom is hip. Tom. Grab your word. show corn. Grab, grab a bag of show corn, Tom. 825 with Jim, Deb, and Kevin. It's Friday, the first day of September. Oh, yeah, I'm so excited about that. If you missed it earlier, I was sharing that some of our uh, friends that we hang with and go to dinner with, um, one of the husbands was making fun of the fact that I don't really get into Bigfoot. And they were going to be watching, uh, all the guys were going to be watching this documentary on Bigfoot. And so I said I'd rather watch paint dry. So he sent a text and it said, get your show corn ready. Bigfoot's about to come on this documentary. Your show and corn. Show corn. And I remember yeah. thinking, uh, what in the world is show corn? Of course, his wife ended up letting all of us know that he calls popcorn show corn. Like that's his oh, lingo or his way of, 
Okay, that's his communicating his own per- that personal yeah. name um, for popcorn. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, and I so like he's kind of combined the word popcorn with Go to the show, watching and going to a show. So yeah. he sh- he calls it show corn. I thought it was a little <laughs> little weird. A little weird there. Hey, Linda. Uh, hey, I was just thinking about making up new words. Yeah. When I first met my husband, they would talk about skinny meat. Skinny meat. Skinny oh, is that meat. Hot dogs. Skinny meat. Nope. Oh. Like bologna. Like the nope. Like butt egg thin sliced meat. <laughs> skinny oh, meat. Oh, oh. Skinny meat. I like that too. Skinny meat. <laughs> yeah, and they called it a shoe spoon instead of a shoe horn. <laughs> shoe spoon. And that may be more what yeah, has anybody ever heard of that? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you guys have a good weekend. <laughs> you too, Linda. <laughs> Actually shoe spoon sounds more like what it is. It, well, it looks like a spoon. Yeah, not, yeah, a, horn. not a horn. So there's yeah. so, oh, anyways. Oh, yeah. My uh, niece used to call cheese, just regular cheese, square cheese. You know, like the American cheese? Like the oh, slices. It's square. Can I have some square cheese? As yeah. opposed to what? Well, like just round cheese. cheese just round cheese, uh, cheese with holes in it, yeah. you know, that kind of stuff. Square cheese. Square cheese. Okay. So next time you go to McDonald's, say, let me have a square cheeseburger. Yeah. <laughs> See what they say.